Hi, I'm Annie Baker Cleaver, and I am back with another video. Uh, I sold this house just a few months ago. I was planning to be outside walking around. It's gorgeous, but it's windy, so I don't think you'd be able to hear me. I think more homeowners can relate to this house sale and what we did to fix it up prior to the sale. These homeowners had lived here for 20 years, raised their three kids, loved the community, loved their house, and had really tried to maintain it over the years. They had updated here and there um, between their busy lives. And they weren't really sure if they were gonna be selling. I mean, they knew at some point they were gonna be retiring and leaving, but they had just been sort of doing projects as they went. And especially when COVID hit, the husband was taking his time doing floors, painting. They were changing out interior doors, doing a lot of just things that he could and get done. So the house is in pretty good shape. He had redone one bathroom. It's so beautiful because it's a four bedroom, two bath. So the hall bath that all the kids used and if guests came over, it was beautiful. Uh, so a lot of the work had been done. Well, then they kind of fast tracked their plans to sell uh, because the wife was getting transferred out of state. And that's when I connected with them and they weren't sure if they should really redo the kitchen. The kitchen was still in great shape. They had, you know, upgraded with stainless steel appliances. They wanted to finish the floors. They were updating it to the wide plank engineered wood floor. So the husband was finishing that. The master bath kind of needed some updating. So anyway, they looked to me for some advice. What should they do? What shouldn't they do? I'll give you a little tour. I don't have the best before pictures. I'm trying to be better at that, but gosh, I keep forgetting. You'll be able to get a good idea of some of the bigger projects that I helped them with. Uh, and they had covered most of the costs. Just towards the end, I think we were just making a mad push to get everything done quickly. And so I just sort of handled some of the cost. I contributed about 15,000. Um, they did the rest. They put in a significant amount of money. I can't really put a hard number on it just because they had done some of the work over time. Um, but they did do the exterior paint and like I said, the kitchen, the primary bathroom and finish some floors, you know, just at the end. So I'm guessing they were, you know, close to around $50,000 when all, all was said and done just towards the end. So Again, I put in 15,000 just to make things easier, got paid out of the clothes, but it made a significant difference. I'll kind of give you some numbers towards the end of this, but let's go have a look, come on. So here's the exterior from a few years ago. The house had great curb appeal. The homeowners had done such a great job with it, maintaining it. Just a little dated still, as I said, they'd been working on it. This is the original family room. Um, the popcorn ceiling, kind of the dated paint colors. They'd already updated the flooring here. So the kind of the gray wide plank flooring. This is the original kitchen, original cabinets, uh, the tile on the counter, sort of like a U-shaped counter with the brown flooring. We talked about, you know, really making sure that was all the same um, flooring because it, it just doesn't flow well with mismatched flooring. This was the primary bathroom. It's a little different that the sink is out where like the closet is, there's carpet, and then there's a little doorway to a toilet and a shower. This is a primary bedroom, kind of dated colors, not too bad, but you know, not super updated and had the popcorn on the ceiling still. So here we are during construction. You know, I love to kind of raise the ceiling to put in some recessed lighting. We're putting all brand new cabinets. They had already redone the floor there to match the other area. So here's, we're gonna look at some before and after. Here's after. They painted the exterior, updated some exterior lights, updated the numbers even for the house. Here's the family room before and after. Oh my gosh, look at just how much bigger it looks with just the, there's just a light gray cream color. I didn't have any of these rooms before. This is their living room, but they had painted, you know, so neutralized the paint throughout all those floors they had been doing, you know, the year or two before. Oh, so it's such a great, great space. Here's the kitchen before. And there you go. 
So we added countertop all around to the back side before they had a table kind of over on that left side and we made it more of an island so you could walk on both sides. So it just opened up this space. We added, you know, this, this ceiling, the recessed lighting, the coffered ceiling. There's kind of how open that space looked with the same flooring throughout. It just adds so much continuity to a house. We added some uh, recessed lighting too in that family room area. They had already done these barn doors into this room right off the, the front door. It had been, it was a bedroom and had a closet, but they had been using it as a home office since their kids were grown. So this is one, one of their kids' bedrooms. So again, notice the same flooring throughout the house, pretty much the same paint color throughout the house. This was a um, hall bathroom that, you know, the kids used and they had already updated that. It looked great. That's the after of the primary bedroom. Look at that, neutralizing the paint color, and the white paint on the ceiling with no popcorn, the floor throughout. Here's that little bathroom area before. Look at after, new vanity, new light fixtures. No more carpet that we redid that master shower completely. So that looked great with the white subway tile. Here's just giving an idea of what their yard looked like. Like I said, these homeowners, had just done such a great job the whole time living there and updating things as they went but they had a great outdoor entertaining area in the hot tub there it is again so had these sellers not done the kitchen or the primary bathroom and maybe not done some of the painting that we did and the popcorn ceiling, it still would have been a great house. Honestly, the sellers had done a really nice job maintaining it and it, it would have shown really nicely. Their yard was pretty, um, even without the paint, the house had really nice curb appeal. But I think they probably would have been looking at around 155, maybe. Um, you know, it's a good neighborhood, so we could have gotten some you know, multiple bidders and, and bid it up about that much. Um, but anyway, having it show so well, I mean, that kitchen was a, a knockout. I mean, everyone loved it. Everyone walked in this house and was like, oh gosh, everything is done. It's beautiful. It like it was nice quality, all the workmanship. So because it was a relocation sale, they were required to interview other realtors. The other realtors, the highest sale price they thought they could get was 1625. I told them I thought we could definitely push it and probably get more like 1650. Uh, I just thought the neighborhood was desirable and it was gonna show so well. Well, guess what? We ended up with four offers and got 1.7 million. No contingency, they did have a loan, but it was a clean sale. The buyers were thrilled and I think my sellers were pretty darn happy too. So if you are a seller, a homeowner like this that you've updated, but maybe it's just not really a 10 yet and it's not perfect, I'm telling you, it will make a difference. So I'm happy to talk to you about things I would recommend if you do need a little help financially. I love doing that just because to me, it's most important that you get the highest sale price. Then you'll be happy with me too. <laughs> anyway, I'm Annie. Please don't hesitate to reach out for anything. And until next time, have a great one.